Emily. What's the deal here with this mess, guys? What? Emily, what you doing? I need Emily. the mess. Emily, why? <laughs> why mess? Body. Okay. Anyways, that's what I'm dealing with. We got a whole bunch of stuff just arrived. And I'm going to go through it. See what it is. Definitely not presents for you. Present for me. We're going to open them right here. Let's go through these boxes. Bring that box over here. Our first box. Could be anything. Okay, these are my. Let's go careful. These are my Brocraft mounts for the Lund to mount my uh, whatever, your, you know, cargo straps, okay. Careful with that box, I want to save that box, so don't rip it. That's a good box. This. Your deer honey clothes. Deer honey clothes? For real? Yeah. I didn't yeah. think I'd buy deer honey clothes. Oh, that's my GoPro mount that I lost. Don't, don't cut her. More bro crap. Um, the garage is loaded up with everything. I can't, I can hardly fit anything else in here. It's that ridiculous. Trying to prepare for the move, for the new boats, uh, for next year's season, for new uh, ice fishing to you know you guys have been following we're jam-packed here so picking up my enclosed trailer tomorrow I'll take you guys on that journey I got a few loose ends to uh, to tie up as well uh, what else we got oh, where is the light there we go got some more boxes that just arrived here I'm full of uh, just more items all useful all good you know but i'm just i'm preparing to get everything ready and uh organizing like crazy of course we need the uh the 16 gallon shop vac for the new place when i get up there in february there's going to be a lot of construction and cleanup and stuff so needed a, a different vacuum i have this wall mounted vacuum right here which I'll use up there as well. So I got that. I got my track system here I ordered for the trailer. And I have a bunch of trailer accessories here. Some, uh, all kinds of stuff. Everything you'll need for an enclosed trailer is in that box. Wheel chucks. Just keep loading up all the stuff for the Lund. You look up there, all ice fishing stuff organized and ready to go. So that's what we got going on. Let's go check on the kids. Yo! Did I scare you? Uh -huh. You guys watching some dogs? Uh -huh. What show you watching, Imps? Puppy. So you, I gotta get you ready for bed soon. Uh-huh. Are you ready for bed? No, I have lots of... Are you ready for bed? No, I have lots of... Yeah, we're going to go to bed. No, I have lots of puppy. Nap, nap. No, I want puppy. Nap, nap. No, I want... What? What? Sure. Cole, can you tell her it's nap, nap? Nap, nap. Is it, are you ready for bed? No. All right, so they're allowed to watch one show a week, and normally it's on Tuesday nights, so there you go the only screen time they're getting okay today I got my tip downs what is a tip down you ask well apparently it's something I need for ice fishing <clears throat> sort of like a tip up what I like about this brand this is the sure strike handcrafted oak stand made in the USA ready to fish so what we do is we take it out of the package here. It comes with a little ice fishing rod. 
Now I know this isn't going to be St. Croix quality. But it's nice because you can run a bunch of different setups when you're ice fishing. Similar to a tip up, but you're going to be able to lift that perch out of the hole. So it comes with these stands. You got wing locks here, wing nuts. And basically, and I'm going to spool these up with different line. I'm going to run Cortland. They make some line for tip ups that I'm going to use. But basically, this uh, this setup, like so. So I like the green rod itself. It'll, it'll show up a little bit better than some of the ones that are on the market. But you drill your hole, you set this up, you put your minnow down there, and when the fish grabs it, it's just going to tip down. And you run over there and pull that jumbo perch up. Pretty cool. I got six of these just to uh, mess around with. So I'm going to figure out how to organize all this stuff. I did pick up my trailer yesterday too, so I'm going to show you guys that it's pretty nice. A lot better than I thought. It's really good in person. Practically brand new. Okay, so this big Frabel box it's going to be perfect for all of my tip down storage i think i also got some of these they're called quick grabs and so you can actually set those up in the shack or however i got four of those and then i got my six other ones here so i think this is a good storage i was hoping I could make them fit in this box. I could definitely fit the rods, but I'm not sure what's going to be the best way. I, I mean, this is a lot. I could definitely come. I could find a small bag probably to throw those in. I'm experimenting still. I don't know. Now I, I had all this stuff stored in there, so now I got to find a place to put those. All right, check it out. Bass Boat Technologies arrived. It's going to be crazy. So I actually placed an order for the Lund as well as the Camus. So that's why there's so many boxes. But they do make the best. If you are debating, researching, looking into the best mounts for your boats, I've been running them for the past, oh, I don't know, 2009, 10? Amazing product. Bass Boat Technologies. The owner's Van. Kick-ass name. Van. Van will hook you up. Give them a call. Let them know Smallmouth Crush sent you. And uh, they do a great job. They, they have it down. Every boat, every model, whatever you need. Single mounts, doubles, triples, battery trays, aluminum battery trays. Uh, I get rid of all my plastic ones. You'll, you guys will see that in the boat build videos coming up but good stuff just want to give a shout out to Bass Boat Technologies so basically you grab my baits off the shelf and you take the eyeballs out every time don't you uh -huh. why I want to I don't want eye let's see it why do you take the eyes out uh, I don't want eye Okay, so all my swim baits, the eyes are peeled off of it every time. Right? Uh huh. What are you going to do now? Hi. Why don't you sit back down in your chair? I got Bobby home. What? I got Bobby home. Not yet? Oh. Uh -huh. Well, today I'm doing a lot of planning for the new garage. And if we go inside the house, you can see I one of the side rooms in the garage, I had to move everything out of here to kind of get a feel for it. So let me walk you through this. This here blue line is the wall. This is a door going down to the basement. 
And so here's what we got. I want a closet about eight foot long. That's gonna store all my like cold weather gear, jackets, waders, stuff like that. Then over here, you got your wall. This is going to be a sink and this will be like a little fish cleaning table, countertop. And then I'll have cabinets up top. This side here also has drawers that are gonna come out. So there's enough room in here to get in. This is gonna be one of those just, you know, 10 inches tall little floor sink. All right, with the faucet coming out so you can wash your boots off or whatever. Okay, so sink, another sink, door. This is actually another door outside. Right here is going to be a refrigerator. So that's gonna keep all my salmon eggs, my skein, my seltzer water ready to go. Don't have to use the inside fridge for that anymore. And then here's just gonna be a cooler, a freezer, I guess I should say, a little three by three freezer that we have in the basement. That's gonna store all my ice for fishing. I'm gonna be able to freeze big cube chunks and not have to deal with little cubes anymore. I'm trying to keep my smallmouth alive in the live wells. So there you go. Now I'm gonna put a table like this, three by five in the middle Obviously, there's not a lot of room, but this is, I gotta deal with what I have to deal with. This table actually slide down just slightly. So the refrigerator door, which will be about three feet, will still be able to open it and squeeze through here. And then of course this goes another 24 feet that way. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Why is there a mess in here? What? Why did you move everything? I'm just just looking at some stuff. Oh, bye. Let's see what your mom thinks about this. Well, what is happening here? Excuse me? What's happening? What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm just trying to take some measurements of stuff. Why in here? I just needed the space. Oh, well, what are you pretending this is? A garage. Now I was a dentist, Ems. I get a, I get a plate, a fire plate. That's a jet. Okay, the trailer's already filling up. But we're, we're going to put some E-Track on the wall here. And uh, make it work, right Holmes? Correct. You ready for this? I can be ready. We gotta put a bar on there. We got our Mr. Heater going. We're all set, even though it's not that bad out. Sure. All right, we got most of the E track up. Now we're going to put a bar on the outside of the door. Well, we started packing up some stuff that we won't need and load in the trailer this week. I'm going to be heading up to New York, actually, uh, for the next vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.